What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and I have this giant box, well not really giant, but I have this big box sitting on my coffee table, and this box came as pretty much a surprise, because, well, let's just get into it. So, Shark, as you know, is a company that sells vacuum cleaners, and they sent me what's supposed to be a replacement motor assembly for this. So, oh, can you even see that? For this. Oh, you still can't see it. For this. There we go, third time's, well, whatever. The point is, that shark that blue one that's right at the corner of the frame. I got this in the acquisition of the six vacuum set. And it exists. I have it. There's nothing physically broken on it. But there's an issue with it. And I will demonstrate that issue right now. Which is probably a bad idea because this is inside my house. But I'll show you what this thing does whenever I plug it in. Also, why is this cord so short? This is supposed to, this is literally a $300 vacuum cleaner. Let's see what happens when I turn this on. Oh, look at that. It doesn't stay on. What happens when I put it down? Put it in the third position. See that? So the brush roll motor works and works pretty good. It's a 0M model, so it has the 0M technology. However, this machine's motor, suction motor, does not work at all. It is completely dead. As you heard, I turn it on for about, well, I turn it on, it makes a buzzing sound for about half a second, all my lights dim, and then it shuts back off. The motor never actually turns on, it's completely dead. The motor's completely fried. Which speaks a lot for the build quality of sharks, doesn't it? Because this is not the this is not the first time this has happened. This is like the third shark I've gotten that's had this issue. And I've gotten like maybe maybe not even ten sharks. Not, not even. Not even. I, I, I would say like maybe seven or eight sharks I've gotten, and three of them have had dead motors. So I called up Shark and said, hey. This motor's dead. They asked me for the model number. I gave them I, blah, 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 I gave them the model number. And then they said, okay, what's your address? I gave my address. They're like, okay, we're shipping you a new motor. We're shipping you a new motor and, uh, you know, assembly. I believe this is a lift away. So they sent me, they're, according to the woman on the phone, they sent me that. And they, they got my name wrong, too. My name is not Chand Mashinsky. That's not my name. Did I blur out everything effectively? Yes. So, I misplaced my pocket knife, so I'm going to use a normal knife to open this box. That's not the point of this video. Let's get through this. Come on, open. So this came from Shark Ninja Shipping Department in Chino, California. I don't know if Chino is like a abbreviation of something or if it's just Chino, California. Honestly, that sounds like a racial slur. So let's open this. All right. And let's see what the heck they sent me. Can you, can you still see this? You can see this. So let's see what shark sent me. Bunch of paper, and then an another box. Customer Chand Machine Sky. Description: Replacement pod. 
Shark Ninja operating, blah, 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 blah. Date, May 1st, 2020. This is a FedEx label. So they gave me a box inside of a box. Ooh, this is light, too. This isn't, this isn't nearly as heavy as I thought it would be. Alright, so we got another box to open. How do I open this? I guess just... Okay, well, it the it's like this, so I'm going to assume it wants me to open like this. Remember, never cut towards yourself. I actually almost just, see, I was worried about the knife, and I almost cut myself on the box. Alright. Oh, you can't even see that, can you? Alright, let's see what pulls out. Well, this isn't there evenly. Well, well, there we go. That, ooh. It even has the filter! Oh, that's so nice, because mine's missing the filter. Actually, that's probably why the motor went out. <laughs> that's awesome. It even has the filter. Oh, that's perfect. That's probably why the motor on, on this one went out, is because the filter is uh, completely missing. Even though there's no dust, like, you know, all over the vacuum. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, um, this is what we got. We got this. This is tiny. We got this little motor assembly. Is this cord longer than the one on the, on the one that's plugged in? Huh. That's interesting. Well, and he, they didn't ask me for any payment info. I literally just told them, like... I read, you know, I registered it over the phone. This vacuum had never been registered before, or my vacuum had never been registered before. It's even the same color, which I like, the blue color. And they basically, I called them up. I expected the customer service to be horrible because I've always said negative things about Shark. And, you know, of course, lack of available parts, all that stuff. But literally, this cost me nothing. Literally nothing. It cost me about five minutes of my time and whatever time I spent making this video which I may make a couple bucks off this video I don't know it depends if, if you guys watch it or not <laughs> but they literally they and I told them I said well they said where what store did you buy from I said I well, I, bought, I got off a friend of mine you know I didn't I didn't buy it brand new so I, I said I didn't buy it brand new I'm not the original owner I bought this used which is entirely true. I bought it used. You would think that any company, like I was honest, and you would think any company would be like, okay, well then, since you bought it used, we're going to have to charge you for the part since we don't know what the previous owner did to it. There was none of that. There was none of that. They literally just, you know, they were just, okay, so your warranty starts now, and since it's within warranty and your motor is out, we're going to ship you a new, a new one of these. And, uh, yeah, so... And I was like, really? And she's like, yeah, so give me your address and your name. And I did. She got the name wrong, but the address, thankfully, was right. I don't care about the name as long as the address is right. Obviously, it's close enough to where I know this obviously isn't for my dad or anything because he's the only other person who lives here. Obviously, you can't open someone else's mail. But this was obviously for me because I made the phone call and the name's close closer to my name than to my dad's name. So, yeah. So, I just got a brand... And look, it's brand new. It, it, it was in the plastic. It's... Well, actually, no, it's not. It's got some scratches on it. It's probably like a refurb, actually. So it's not brand new, but it's it's close enough. I'm, I'm not complaining. I got this for free. I got the vacuum for 25 bucks with five other vacuums. And then I got this for free. So I guess the only thing left to do is just plug this in, attach it to the other one, and see if it works. So I, I guess we'll I guess we'll do that right now. So again, real quick, 
Here is the old. Sorry, I'm gonna move all the stuff out of the way. So again, here's the old shark. So again, this is what it does when I turn it on. You can see that, it didn't do anything. Yeah, so the brush motor is good though. So we're going to unplug this and I guess just swap the parts that I need to swap, which would include, let's see, let me grab this thing. I haven't worked on too many sharks, but this seems, oh, okay, this is self-explanatory. So I take off the handle. Yeah, there we go. Yep, so that, that looks the way it's supposed to look. Take off the hose. Are there any clogs in this? I probably should test, test it for clogs. Take off the dirt container. Yeah, you see, there's no filter in there. Yet there's not a whole ton of dust in there. What about... Oh yeah, that's that's a little bit dirty. But I'm assuming... Ooh, that smells... That smells burned. Yeah, that, that motor is burned out. Does it? This has the post motor filter? It does. So it has everything. And disconnect this. Oh, that was easy. And this is the zero M model, so it's got that brush roll that doesn't tangle. I'm gonna I'm gonna clean all this off before I install it. So this is the old. This is already pretty clean. But anyways, I'm gonna clean I'm gonna clean off this base assembly real quick, and I'm gonna make sure the hose isn't clogged. Is that even in frame? Can you even see that? I'm gonna make sure that that is nice and clean. And I'm going to make sure the hose isn't clogged before I put this back together. So we'll do that real quick. All right, so I cleaned off this little um, base piece right here. One thing that's nice is that very similar to a Dyson, the, uh, the sides, like the plastic they use here, is actually really friendly to being cleaned. So this had a ton of like paint marks and paint scratches on the side. And that little one wouldn't come off, but the rest of them all were able to scrub off very easily. And uh, unfortunately, this window is really badly clouded and it looks gross. But for now, I'll just test it out, as well as the fact that this doesn't smell the nicest. And it's got some dirt stuck to the lid. But again, we're just going to test it for now. And then if, if this works good, then I'll... I'll, you know, take these apart and clean them up and make it, you know, essentially match the quality of the motor assembly. But you can see there's just dust caked on that window. But the brush roll doesn't have any tangles in it, so that's good. And it still seems to spin. That would suck if this mechanism just died just now. And I probably had, hey, can you send me another thing? Because that just broke too. I wonder if you, if, if some asshole could probably just like, hey, each part broke and then just eventually just build a brand new vacuum cleaner for free um that would be kind of mean but yeah so okay so let's see is there anything missing off here so the only thing that i have to transfer over is this little piece which holds the attachment yeah there we go now i'm kind of confused because there's, this is only one peg, and isn't it supposed to come with two attachments with a dusting brush and a crevice tool? So someone who knows more about sharks, can you explain what this meant? Because like, I, I tried to look on the photos and I didn't really see anything, although I didn't look very hard. But, see that's got some, a uh, little bit of dust on it, but that's no big deal. I'll just wipe that off and that's, yeah that's good, nothing really much to complain about there, it's just a tool holster. Wipe some dust off that and slide that right on the side there and just slot this on until it clicks into place with that little little clamp on the left side or tab I guess and yeah so then we grab the cyclone assembly pop that on 
And before I put on the hose and wand, I just want to run uh, another vacuum through it and make sure this has, make sure this isn't clogged or anything. So we're going to do that real quick. check that because this wand is completely clogged so this wand is clogged up pretty badly hmm but the hose is fine the hose is good but the wand itself is plugged up pretty badly so can I can I pull whatever's in there out yeah that's a really really tough clog I'm gonna have to stick something through there and try to get that out. Maybe I can't see if I can't unclog it right now. What is that? Some piece of grass or something. I don't know what that is. So that's interesting. That's a nasty plug. That could be another reason why the motor went out. It probably burned out because there's something plugged up in there. <laughs> That's not good. Hmm. Not sure what I'm gonna do about that. I guess I'm gonna have to just run run some hot water through this and let it force it out, which is usually the way to do it because that'll usually soften whatever's in there and force it out. So for now, since I can't put that on, I'll just remove. Yeah, because that could plug something. I'll just attach the hose, which I don't think I'll need to clean. Well, it has a bit of a smell to it. I'll probably have to, I'll probably I'm probably gonna wash all of this. But let's see. Let's uh, plug this in and see if we can't get any sort of a response out of it. Oh, we got a lovely little cord protector and some nice twist ties. To protect am I in frame I hope I am because this is really annoying if I'm not and this video would just be a waste but hopefully it's not hopefully it turns out good and interesting all right I don't want to get it across the dirt that I just yanked out I want to get that nice new core all Broken, yep, it's in the off position. And we'll plug it in. And we will turn it on.
that works. Works pretty. Works really good. Really, really good. Which I would hope so if it's a brand new motor or a refurbished motor or whatever. It's really quiet. I like how quiet that is. <laughs> well, and uh, also there was something stuck in this. Well, it wouldn't be this back tube because the back tube was part of the replacement, but something was stuck down here as well, and it pulled that out and into the canister. So yeah, and this is the Zero M model, which is really nice. You hear you hear it sucked up something. It was clicking around in the bin. But yeah, so this thing is working now, and I'm pretty. It, it's pretty quiet too. <laughs> Somebody that has this fitting on it. Would, there, would a Hoover wand work with this? Give me one sec. No. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, it's not ideal, but it'll work for now. Well, not really. If I hold this, it should do it. I can't complain so yeah I've just got a pretty much free shark 0m whatever model this is and uh, I guess I'll just I guess I'll smash the old motor since I got nothing better to do with that so yeah um, I hope this video was entertaining and hopefully this was you know kind of a cool little video and uh, yeah, so that's my Shark. Whose shoes are that? So that's my Shark Zero M. And it's working now. Because Shark just decided to send me a free motor assembly. And uh, so now it's, it's working just fine. I just got to unclog that wand. Which shouldn't be too difficult. And, you know, also clean up the front of that, the window of that... Uh, brush roll housing cleaner head and um then it's gonna be a perfectly working shark zero m that i got for super duper 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 cheap because you know again if 25 bucks for six vacuums that's five bucks a piece not even five bucks a piece so i got this for like less than five bucks and uh, I can't complain about that. So, anyways, that's my experience. And uh, I'm surprised they sent me a new motor and motor assembly, considering that, again, I, I told them it was a used vacuum, and they still sent me one. So, that's kind of cool. So, yeah, I've, I've talked a lot of crap on sharks. But not only, is, not only was the customer service really good in my experience, which I was not expecting, but I actually really like the vacuum. Uh, this zero M model is seems to be really nice, and once I get a hand get the handle on it, I will do a review and a demo on it. Probably I will probably do that because I'm really starting to like this, and I, I obviously I like the blue color, so that that goes a long way for me because I like blue. But yeah, so anyways, this is Intelitech Studio signing out, and that's you know, my experience with calling up Shark and getting a motor and handle assembly for my Shark Zero M. So, yeah, I got a 
what it, this this thing still retails for three hundred dollars, right? So I got this for uh, pretty cheap. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, let me know what your guys' experience with Shark is, because I've said a lot of negative things about Shark, and I've had plenty of people say they had good experiences with Shark, and now I can honestly understand why. So that's kind of an interesting little little tidbit. So let me know your guys' experience with Sharks, if you have any Sharks that you really like, or any other vacuums, or I guess you could also talk about the Eureka, since, that's, since I used that to attempt to unclog the wand on the shark anyways i'll see you guys in the next video and i hope you guys have a good one stay safe stay uh healthy and uh don't die so hope you guys have a great rest of your day take care